Hey YouTube, this is NewNet TV coming at you guys with another video, and today this video is going to be EA Sports UFC 2 overall rankings. And before we start this video, let me put this uh, CPU against CPU because I cannot read and play the game at the same time. So, all right, so EA Sports UFC 2 overall rankings revealed, including CM Punk. The EA Sports UFC 2 overall rankings for all fighters have been revealed. There probably won't be any surprises, but it is still interesting to see what fighters like CM Punk has been awarded. EA have released the rankings on the UFC site, revealing the top 10 fighters as John Jones, 95 overall, Demetrius Johnson, 95, Conor McGregor, and uh, they changed Conor McGregor, he was at 95. And he's at 94. I mean, what's the big difference, man? You might as well kept him at 95 if you're just going to put his his overall down by uh, <laughs> to 94. This was this is overall rankings revealed. And, and they said CM Punk. So, Daniel Cormier, 94. Thank goodness they at least put him to like... No, I looked at another article. They said they put Daniel Cormier at a 98. Come on now. Come on, EA. Fix that. Fix that, all right? And a lot of people are mad that Conor McGregor is too high. I mean, Conor McGregor shouldn't be that high. Like, come on now. George St. Pierre, 94. Rafael Dos Anjos, 94. Robbie Lawler, 93. Dominic Cruz, 93. Luke Rockhold, 93. Fabric Sierra, Werdum, 93 overall. So, while it comes as no surprise that CM Punk hasn't made the top 10, especially as... He has not even had a fight yet. So let me just say this. I was not expecting. No, no, no. Listen. All right. I'm going to say this. I already knew CM Punk was going to be in the top 10. Let me just say that. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just say that. I'm not even trying to kill dude. Like, I, like I'm not even trying to roast uh, dude. So they have still give him a score of 82 overall where John Jones is a more respectable 95. John Jones, 95 overall. Yeah. His clinch is 95. STU that's 95 and Grin is 94 so CM Punk his STU is 80 his overall is 82 I mean that's fine by that's fine with me his his overall isn't that bad it uh his clinch yeah his clinch is um is a 78 his ground game is 82 um that's normal to me man and they say he's the lowest rank in the game. Then that mean everybody in this game must be like a 90 overall in this game. Then he put CM Punk is probably the only person in this game that's an 80 something overall. So anyway, in the female fighters, Ronda Rousey has 92 overall. With Holly Holm, who defeated Rousey to take her championship, getting a 93. Wow. So if Holly Holm would have never beat Ronda Rousey, her her overall would been would have been lower than Ronda Rousey. So. So, uh, Holly Holm has 93. I know that must kill Ronda Rousey. She, man, get, guess, Holly Holm, if you're looking at this video, give Ronda Rousey her rematch. We want to see this again. I, I feel like Ronda Rousey, if you give Ronda Rousey one more chance in the second fight, Ronda Rousey could beat you in a submission game. I don't know with strikes, but I don't know. It's well worth visiting the site to find the rankings of the fighters that interest you the most. Though Mike Tyson has not had a ranking given. Exactly. I looked at a, a EA forums or whatever, and they and it's like I saw a question mark near uh, Mike Tyson's overall. They didn't show his overall yet. Like, like what's taking EA or whatever? Like, what's taking EA so long to get Mike Tyson's overall? So, has not had a ranking given. Bruce Lee has a 92 overall, which should come as no surprise. See, I feel like it's kind of disrespectful. Put it Bruce Lee, since Bruce Lee is the one that created mixed martial arts. And this is crazy because I got into an argument with someone at school today about Bruce Lee because they were disrespecting the legend that created it all and it pissed me off. But they should put Bruce Lee at 100 because he's the one who basically started mixed martial arts. So put Bruce Lee at 100. Put him at 100 overall. Put him at 110 overall. I don't care. Um, which should come as no surprise. Yeah, whatever. With EA Sports UFC 2 overall rankings and game modes for EA Sports UFC 2 revealed, fans of the first game will obviously be feeling excited over the new game's release. It will be interesting to see how knockout mode is received, which seems to push the game into more of a less sophisticated fighting game. What are your thoughts on e on the EA Sports UFC 2 overall rankings? Are you looking forward to re to the release of the game? Let us know in the comment section below. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below too. That was just an article and what they said. A lot of people were saying their their comments. Well, only one person said their comments. 
Um, yeah, this is basically a lot of information that I just said. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, share. Don't forget to become a Nunet today by subscribing. I'll see you Nunets in the next video. Let me know if this video, um, I mean, let me know if you guys are getting this game in the comment section below. And let me know some things that you don't like about this game. And let me, some, and let me know some things that you do like about this game in the comment section below. So, yeah, uh, EA Sports UFC 2 overall rankings revealed. All right, guys. Yeah!